y'all won't even believe what the fuck is going on. My life is turning up today. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. The universe is like, I know, babe, you've been chilling. But we ready to eat you the fuck up. So, yesterday, I get ready, right, to go out with my friends. I'm like, lit. It's my weekend. I'm finally getting out of this damn house. And y'all know I work from home, so I've been in this bitch every damn day. And so, I parked, I guess I parked the car or whatever. Damn, I'm not good at telling the story. Anyway, what happened was yesterday after I got ready, I went outside and, you know, had my makeup on, ready to go, dressed. Where the fuck is my car? Nowhere to be fucking found. So I was like, God damn, somebody stole my fucking car. Where the fuck is my shit? And what fuck happened was I got fucking towed, bitch. How the fuck you get towed in your own goddamn apartment complex? It doesn't make any fucking sense. So... Sorry, people looking at me. But yeah. Then I had to call the non-emergency number. That's what they told me. So I was like, all right, let me go ahead and just calm down. Tomorrow I'm gonna go get my car. First of all, it's $200 to get my fucking car out of the goddamn towing lot. So I'm mad about that. And I fucking, I gotta pay for my fucking car. No, today. So I'm like, thank you, thank you, universe. $400, sure. $450, I had that. <sighs> then... Um, what happened? So now I still need to go to the leasing office. It, you know what? It's completely my fault. Because they've been emailing us about fucking coming to pick up our goddamn, um, resident decals and our visitor's pass. But my thing is, I literally went there, right? And I gave him my registration. So, I felt like they should have given me my visitor's pass and stuff then. But they kept emailing us and telling us to come and get it. And I never wanted to go get it. So, it's really my fault. But at the end of the day, it's still irritating. Okay, so then uh, she, the lady last night told me I needed to be needed the um uh, the payment has to be in cash, so I never have cash on me. And so I'm like, all right, where the f I was like, I already got the Uber. The Uber's on the fucking way. Then I'm like, where's my debit card? How are we gonna get the cash without the fucking debit card? What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> so then I was like, oh yeah, I got another card. Thankfully, the, whoever the lady was, she was looking out for me. She's like, you lose your card too much here. <laughs> So yeah, I had another car in the back of my heart and pulled that bitch out, activated it. So I'm ready to go, okay? I'm gonna get my $300 and pull up and be like, give me my fucking car, bitch. I wanna fucking steal that bitch back. Jump over the gate, like in the movie. <laughs> but yeah, if they, call it, if they say it's any more than fuck, I'm gonna make sure I pull out 300 but they say more than that, I'm gonna be fucking mad. Even more than fucking 200 of me mad. The lady told me 200 yesterday, so why the fuck that shit is changing? And you'd be 200 today. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna try to enjoy the rest of my day. I'm going to DC tomorrow. But I'm just fucking pissed. Because why the fuck did y'all tow my fucking car? Bitch, I'm looking stupid as hell. So I'm going out to fucking hang on, hang on my friends. I'm walking around one o'clock in the morning and my car's gone. I'm irritated. Okay. I'm calling corporate. And I would like to let them know that I'm fucking pissed. Give me my fucking car back, bitch. Who the fuck does that? I already have to fucking pay for this goddamn apartment. Now, I gotta pay for the apartment and for fucking towing, bitch. What the fuck? What the fuck? That doesn't make any fucking sense. That doesn't make any fucking sense, bitch. And I'm fucking it. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Ugh. <laughs> like, I need a sugar daddy, okay? Because my life is not built up for this. I hate using my own money for shit. You know what? Let me, let me pack it up. Because I'm ranting. And the lady, the Uber lady is probably like, what the fuck is going on? Hurry your ass up and come outside, bitch. Yeah. I'm completely over today. Completely over it. I told this lady I was going to meet her at the front. And she went around anyway. And you know, I don't have my damn little key fob thing. So I can't even get back in the goddamn gate. And I don't let that. So here I am, standing outside with a fucking cop top, Looking like a whore. Everybody can see me. I'm so irritated. It's not their fault, though. It's kind of mine. Oh, you looking for Matthew? Matthew. Oh my God. Hi, Miss Mary. How, How you doing? You? Oh my God. It's been a day, babe. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a day. That's why I was like, let me explain this to you when I get in the car. Right. So, I do need to. Do you know where an ATM would be? Uh... Like the nearest ATM? Mm. It was another struggle of the day. Let me get this fucking shit out. 
Thank you, man. Yes, they had an ATM. This day is not letting me live, though. It kept canceling on me because I couldn't get my card out, my nails. So I was just over. Okay, y'all, we back in the whip, back in the whip. We all good to go. Oh, not this person trying to get up in here. Hold on. Let me go ahead and park. All right, I feel so much better now. I'm back in my apartment, back in my car. I got the little decal shit that they asked me to fucking get. Yeah, Wait, the music just fucking cut me off. Damn, Doja, but get into the skin. Ah! Y'all, I look giving them eyes. Bitch, mysterious. But yeah, I was, I, I was, I was, I'm pretty sure y'all got hella complaints. Cause I was talking to the lady at the um, tall place, and she was like, "Yeah, we told like 21 cars yesterday." I'm like, "Damn!" But. You know what? They did what they were supposed to do, though. They did send us hella emails. I'm just lazy. I'm not gonna lie. I read that shit, and I was like, I don't fucking feel like coming to do that shit. So I asked him to put it in my mailbox. <laughs> and he was like, um, we can't legally go into your mailbox. I'm like, oh, okay. Makes sense. I'm pretty sure that's like the second time he told me that shit. Because I'm so lazy. If you tell me to come pick some shit up, I do not want to do it. I can go all the way to my mom's house 30, 30 minutes down the road, but I can't come straight out to the leasing office. Like, that's embarrassing. And I don't even want to talk to y'all. Like, I really don't. I just want to go home. But yeah, so. I'm happy now. I have my car back. Yeah, get into shit now. Get into shit now. Get into where you are. Anyway. Keep this a life lesson. If anybody, if you can get your freaking apartment and they tell you to pick up the decals, get the fucking decals, okay? Don't be lazy like me. Get your decals. And we all did it. They said no. They went around the whole place. Literally like three people the decals so does you know nobody wants to do that shit who who anyway let me go get Lydia. <laughs>